Preston, was that case of just coming up against a, a better team than yourselves today? Well, they're top of the league and for a reason, and we're bottom for a reason. Um, <clears throat> listen, when they score as early as they did, and it's a, it's a listen, every goal from your point of view is, is, a, is you know against is a poor goal, but it's a poor goal. Let's be fair; it's, a, it's too easy to slide a pass through there. Good finish, but not good defensively. And you're looking at it and you're thinking, wow, you know, with our recent record. But I thought after that, I thought we did very well, very well. I thought we. Um, we got some good balls into the box. I thought we caused them problems, um, certainly aerially, for crossing from good areas. I thought we pressed well. Um, I thought having Wordsworth and um, Baker Richardson uh, in the side improved us. I thought we had energy up top and legs and pace. Um, and listen, we, we could have probably nicked a couple ourselves. Um, second half, I thought we started okay. I thought the impetus went out, out of us a little bit once once you know, I had to make the changes. Obviously, Baker Richardson, and <laughs> he hasn't played for ages, and he was cramping calves and hamstrings. He trained with us on Thursday, and we had an 11 v 11. And yesterday, he was struggling. He was stiff as, so we had to walk through stuff rather than than you know I wanted a little 11 v 11. But we left that one and just walked through stuff. But I thought he did well. Um, hopefully, you know, he'll come on for the game. Obviously, McBurn has been out for quite a period of time as well. Um, but we seemed to lose our, our, our impetus after that, I thought. And then I thought, you know, in the final 20 minutes, Torquay control, control possession, control the game. And we couldn't, we couldn't get a platform or secure ball high of the pitch to get out and, and try and turn them around and get a threat ourselves. So, um, listen, it, it ain't saying much, but it's the, it's the best of the lads of places I've been in. Um, it, it was good to have a couple coming back in, filtering back in. So that, that helped. And we go again, you know, we've got another tough, tough game on Tuesday at, um, at Older Shot. And, you know, we've got to, we've got to take the, the best out of that and, and try and build on it. Uh, and that's what we're trying to focus on. I heard your comments after the game on Tuesday. Do you feel like you've got the reaction that you wanted from your players today? Yeah, listen, I, I said to them, and I said, I've said to them in between times as well, yesterday and Thursday, I expect, I expect men to come and play in this division. You know, I'm not, I'm not here to watch children messing around. It's, it, it drives me mad. You know, and and don't set out on the back foot. Go and have a go. And listen, if you're going to lose a game of football, then lose a game of football having a right go, hammer and tongs. And you know, listen, we've come up against a very good team today. They're, 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 at the minute they've stolen the march on everybody, and deservedly so. And and for long periods of the time until the end of the game, when I thought before we ran out of legs, um, I thought we were you know a fair match, and and they weren't finding it easy to deal with us. But, you know, in the end, they showed the quality of why they're there and we are where we are. It is quite a, a tight division, quality-wise, all the way down. Have you seen enough in your time in charge that your team has enough to get out yeah, of trouble? I've, I've just said that to them. You know, I said, listen, it, it's top v bottom, OK? Um, and I know Gary used the analogy, Gary Johnson used the analogy of um, Sheffield United and, and uh, Man United. Uh, and you know Sheffield United got a Man City and only lost one. There's, there's always hope. This division is tight, and it always has been. You know, and sometimes you get the odd one that gets well brushed away, but usually, you know, anyone can beat anyone if you rock up and you're well organised and you defend your 18-yard box from set plays well, and you can cause problems. I mean, that's another thing we have to our set play delivery. You know, I was, I was spoiled uh, a little bit in my last job. I had a, two lads who could put a wicked delivery in, and I had, a, you know, four or five hammer throwers that could go in and attack it. Um, here at the moment I'm looking for somebody who can stick a ball where I want him to stick it um, and then our runs that we're making will be effective but until that time you know it's something I've got to look at but uh, yeah listen uh, you won't catch me giving up a ghost on anything or anybody else at this football club while I'm here uh, so we I just said to them we've got a fantastic medical department here they give them bundles of information recover properly tomorrow we train on monday and we go down to Aldershot shot and and try and build on on the positives from today you know